Metroid Zero Mission, a game I've played multiple times on and off camera. Now I love this game, but before I get into the game, let me just explain the background of Metroid Zero Mission. And before I have to do that, I need to explain the background of Metroid for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Metroid was released in Japan the August of 1986, later in America the very same month, but Europe didn't get it until January 1988, almost two years after its release in Japan. The game had many flaws such as cryptic paths to continue your journey and the lack of a map made the game very flawed. Metroid 2 did try to fix this by making the adventure more linear, but wasn't perfect due to the hardware of the Game Boy, but in 1994, Makato Kano, hope I re pronounced that correctly, released Super Metroid on the SNES, which is considered one of the best games of all time and sparked speedrunning as a whole. Oh, and something I found a bit strange was that Makanto Kano, yeah, translated into English as Happy Family. I don't know why, but it's true. Try it out for yourself, but back to the normal stuff. I don't know. I mean, it's alright, like... Wrong, but whatever. Let's get back to it. But yeah, I think Metroid Zero Mission is one of the best games of all time due to how much it evolves the original Metroid format. I personally including think new abilities Metroid Zero Mission is one of the best and games parts of all and time. And overall, better game in right? every single way. Unless being annoying is a way which then it isn't as good in that aspect. But who plays a game to be annoyed, am I right? Now, for the story, you play as the bounty hunter Samus Aran on the quest of infiltrating and destroying the space pirate base located on planet Zebras. Zebra. Told, uh, told to us in a very nice but short opening intro or cutscene. It doesn't matter. There are multiple cutscenes similar to this sprinkled across the game, usually before every right, single major boss. As you land, go to the left. There you will find a staple of the Metroid series, the Morph Ball. Because the developers were too lazy to make a crawling animation, I guess. Later in Brinstar, you find the long beam, which only appears in this game and the original. Well, it doesn't appear in other games, but you start with it. It also gives your beam a red colouring. I don't know if it does more damage or not though. Eventually you will find missiles, allowing you to open red hatches and will be your main source of offence in boss fights. Right after you get missiles, you have to fight this weird worm thing. Now you, we have charge beam, which is amazing. Now all your beams can be charged from a powerful shot, which is literally amazing. But yeah, next we get bombs, which aren't very good combat wise, but very useful like puzzle slash adventure wise. Pretty good. Now we got our first secret or unknown item. There's three of these in total, but yeah, we can't use them yet, so Samus needs to update her systems, I guess. Now we technically get a new item, the power grip. It wasn't Metric Fusion, but you started with it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Next is another staple of the Metroid series, Ice Beam, allowing you to freeze all enemies and temporarily use them as a platform. Now we go down to Kraid to fight your m I mean Kraid. Yeah. 100% Kraid. We go to fight Kraid. Yeah. Now I have to open this red door. But you may think, oh, new item. But I have to, like, you can turn on these, like, 
robot monkey bar things. I don't know. Oh, then you get an energy tank. Wait, have I seriously not explained energy tanks yet? Okay, so an energy tank uh, adds 100 to your max amount of health. A missile to the same to your missile um, amount but by 5. I'll do the other two types of tanks later on because you get them a lot, lot later on. Like, near the end of the game. Okay, so we go down, we go around, we go down, go around, we enter this room. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Uh, yeah. Okay, now we come across this weird block we can't open. So now we need, we, no, we need to get another secret item. You may want to go through there. But actually, you need to go up here. This little tube thing is. And whoa, ha, ha, Unknown item two. The secret. Go on. Sam, you should update your suit. So dumb. Okay, so you find this weird eyeball door. It dies in my missile. And then there's another missile door behind that. And you become Ridley! You find! No, you. Okay. The beginning bit. But with that, one out of the two gates are open to Torian. Now, once beating Creed, you get Speed Booster, aka. <laughs> Now there's no use to being created nearly any longer. Can you get this nice cutscene? Now you're back in Brinstar. This door opens. It's pretty weird. Now let's go down to North Air. This red door leads you to the high jump. Make sure you jump higher. Where's the like high jump? Like high jump? Like hello, high jump. I'm funny, right? Now you have to go down, up, up, this long, never-ending hallway of doom. Well, all you need to find the door. Then you find another door. Then you need to drip suit. I mean various suit. Nice. AKA drip. Increase damage, decrease damage. And oh, I love that orange colouring. Let me try and on for a sec about the Vario suit. I love its orange colouring and the basketball soldiers. So, so, shoulders. I feel like any second, the Bronze James is going to come, steal them shoulder pads, and then get a dunk in with them. Okay, sorry guys, but I'm going to have to end the video here because it's already like, it's already over 10 minutes. And I don't want it to be like a 25 minute long video and then the second half is just stuff you don't know anything about because I haven't done it yet. I haven't done anything in that. So yeah, I've only done it to the various suit. But the, I think I'll do the next part either when I beat the game on my channel or if I really don't want to do that. And kind of make my videos kind of, like, I, oh, I might have to edit him a bit more, you know, to make him a bit funny, funny. Uh, but yeah, see you guys.